okay now <laughs> let's design the same circuit by using more machine so in more machine what we will be doing we will be having the miller machine and we will be converting into more type of state diagram okay so here we had carry 0 and carry 1 but this time your output will not be dependent on input only present it will depend on present state so you can see there is 0 with output 0 0 with output 1 0 with output 1 so it will create co uh, confusion that's why what i have done i have uh, taken variables a and b okay a represent carry 0 b represent carry 1 so a 0 a subscript 0 means carry 0 with output 1 uh, output 0 a 1 means carry 0 with output 1 b 0 means carry 0 uh, carry 1 with output 0 and b 1 means carry 1 with output 1 okay so how many output will be having now we are having a with a 0 a with 1 b with a 0 and b with 1 right hopefully you are understanding it why i am doing this because my output is not dependent upon input only in present state it is dependent so we are having different outputs like we have 0 carry with output 0 then we have 0 carry with output 1 right so they both are different so a0 and a1 i have written right now what we have to do we have to do the transitions we have to look we have to satisfy each of the state each of the state uh, all the all the inputs right all the inputs we have to define for so you can see that uh, that is what we were doing before as well i was looking at arrow heads so zero with zero that is this guy similarly you have zero with one that is this guy 0 with 1 this guy then you have 1 with 0 right arrowhead we were looking at uh, state name is 1 all right so 1 with 0 so 1 with 0 and then you can see 1 with uh, 1 right so that is what i have done uh, just a different way i have uh, shown you because don't get confused with this 0 and 1 these are a and b imagine a and b and then you do it you will get the same thing right once you have this now define each of the input so a with a 0 right so a this is a this is b so a with a 0 output uh, you will be getting when you have input 0 0 right 0 0 when you have 0 1 or 1 0 it goes to a with 1 output so I will make a line 0 1 1 0 so 3 inputs are done one, uh, one more is remaining 1 1 when it is 1 1 it is going to b that is carry 1 with output 0 right so this is how it will be done now do the same so this this guy is done right uh, all the inputs are done look at this guy and this guy and this guy separately so b0 let's look at b0 so b with output 0 right output 0 that is possible only when 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 b with output 1 when input is 1 1 one more remaining input is 0 0 and uh, from here it is going to a 1 right a 1 so this will be 0 0 now all the inputs are done 1 2 3 4 now go to b 1 so b 1 b with output 1 right so when there is 0 0 input what will happen it will go to a 1 right and uh, then uh, if uh, input will be 0 1 or 1 0 it will go to b 0 0 1 or 1 0 and then it is if the input is 1 1 it goes come back to b 1 okay so all three is done now the remaining guy is this guy a 1 a 1 so when the input is 0 0 it is going to a 0 right a 0 when the input is uh, 0 1 it is going to a 1 when the input is 1 0 it is going to a 1 1 0 right or i will write it here comma 1 0 and uh, finally what else is remaining 1 1 is remaining so you are here 1 1 you are getting b 0 right so this
this is how it will look okay so you can see the states have been increased by double so you had two states in melee you had four states here that's why you don't prefer more a type of machine right so this will create complexity a uh, more complexity now you have the state diagram uh, let's make the state table of it now the same procedure you will be following state table you have to make reduce it if it is possible then uh, uh, make excitation table uh, then uh, minimization expression and then design the circuit so all these things we'll do now okay now let's make the state table of this so present state is there next state is uh, there for in all the input combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and the output is attached to your present state you can see a0 this is output is 0 a1 means output is 1 uh, b0 is output is 0 and b1 is output is 1 okay so it is attached to this guy b means carry 1 and 1 means output 1 right 0 output 1 output 0 output now you have to uh, write the the next states so you can see in the case of a0 when the 0 0 is input means it is going to a0 0 1 or 1 0 it is going to 1 a1 and 1 1 it is going to b0 right then similarly if you will write this guy is going to a0 a1 a1 b0 uh, right uh, a1 a1 a0 b0 then b0 is going to uh, for 0 0 it is going to a1 and for 0 1 1 0 it is going to b b0 right and then finally it is going to b1 then you have here b1 b1 is going to a1 in 0 0 and then it is going to b0 b0 then b1 right uh, b0 b0 and finally b1 so this will be the state diagram you can see uh, sorry state table uh, final state table and uh, uh, then uh, uh, we can see there is no two two rows are same right this looks same a1 b0 b0 b1 and a1 b0 b0 b1 but the outputs are different right here also a0 a a1 b a1 b0 this looks same but the output is different okay so none of the rows are same there is no reduction possible so now what do we have to do is we have to uh, uh, assign states right so you can see there are uh, uh, four different states so 2 to the power 2 is greater than or equal to 4 that we can do so two flip flops will be required so uh, that uh, a0 will be represented with 00, 0 a1 with uh, 0 1 b0 with uh, 1 0 and b1 with 1 1 right that is how you can uh, represent the states uh, now let me make the excitation table okay based on this so here i'll make it okay now let's look at the excitation table uh, so here we have done the state assignment 00011011 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. so input is 2 bits and flip flops are 2 so there will be total 4 inputs means the combination will have 16 right 00002111 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, so all the combinations i have written here and outputs i have already attached so for all 00000000 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, you have output attached is 0 uh, and this will be b0 uh, sorry a1 so a1 is having output 1 uh, b0 is having output 0 and b1 is having output 1 so this already i have attached now we have to calculate the next state you can see this table so when the input is 0 0 uh, you are having a0 that is 0 0 a1 is 0 1 a1 is 0 1 b0 is 1 0 right this 4 is complete then a0 that is 0 0 a1 is 0 1 a1 is 0 1 b0 is uh, 1 0 right similarly here if you will come a1 that is 0 1 b0 that is 1 0 b0 1 0 b1 which is 1 1 similarly this whole thing you can copy again 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 so you have present state you have next state now based on that you can find d1 and d0 which is nothing but q1 plus and q0 plus only let me write it 0 0 0 1 
زیرو 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 ون زیرو ون 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 زیرو ون 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 زیرو ون 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 ایٹ سیمیلر لی زیرو ون ون زیرو زیرو ون ون زیرو ون زیرو زیرو ون ون زیرو زیرو ون right you have finished the table now once you have to finish the table write the kmap expression for d1 d0 and z and uh, then we can design the circuit so let's do that okay now let's see the expressions for d1 d0 and z uh, so uh, here you can see uh, uh, this is the kmap for d1 this is the kmap for d0 right we have three times uh, four to variable kmap because four inputs are there q1 q0 x1 x0 d1 is there so 3 times 0 then 1 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 and you have uh, 0 triple 1 0 triple 1 0 triple 1 right so this will make a pair of 4 you can see here pair of 4 pair of 4 pair of 4 right so this will give you q1 and this will give you x4 x0 q1 x0 this this four pair of four right the first four last four will give you um q1 x1 right q1 x1 and this long straight line will give you x1 x0 okay then you have for d0 d0 is uh, 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 then you have 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 you can see this pair is q1 x1 bar x0 bar this pair is q1 x1 x0 this pair is uh, q0 bar uh, q1 bar x1 bar x0 and last pair is q1 bar x1 x0 bar if you will take q1 common here you can see this is x1 x0 x0 and here if you will take common q1 bar you will see x1 xor x0 so overall it will be xor of all three x q1 xor x1 xor x0 right so these are the expression for d0 and d1 and for z you can see that this whole row uh, this whole column 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 this is same as q0 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 so you can write z is equal to q0 directly you can make the k map but there is no point actually you are increasing the calculation it is directly visible from here uh, just copy it okay so you have output as well as uh, d0 and d1 so let's design the circuit now uh, and you will see what is the difference uh, between Moore and Miller type okay now let's look at the final circuit <coughs> so this is how the circuit will look like so you have z is equal to q0 d0 is equal to q1 xor q x1 xor x0 and d1 is q1 x0 plus q1 x1 plus x1 x0 this can be written as x1 xor x0 ended with q1 plus x1 x0 just like previously in Miller type we have seen that right so exactly similar to that we have expression so first you can uh, make the d flip flops or d1 q1 d0 q0 with the clocks now uh, write expression d0 and d1 so d1 d0 is xor of q1 x1 x0 so x1 x0 is xor and then you can see here it is xor with q1 given to d0 right then you have d1 is equal to x1 xor x0 that you have already here ended with q1 ended with q1 and then odd with x1 x0 odd with x1 x0 and given to d1 so this is how d1 is getting and this is how d0 is getting and z is q0 only right so you can see this expression is similar to carry this is similar to sum right so you can say that uh, uh, your output you are getting from here and your carry is getting out from here and your inputs are this okay x1 x0 so you have input you have output you have present state next state uh, going among these two flip flop so right this is the final expression uh, from Moore type and you can see the complexity has been increased first of all you can see there are two flip flops for the same problem what we have uh, done in 
Miller type. Miller type, uh, we were able to solve it via one flip flop only. And there was, uh, there is a combinational part as well, you can see. So that increases the complexity. That's why we usually prefer Miller type. Okay. So Moore requires more number of state. We saw that. And hence, more number of flip flop is required to implement the function uh, than the Miller type. So Moore is more complex, you can say. And that's why we avoid it. More complex, more costly. Hence, we go for Miller only. Okay, so that just to give you the feel that in the, from both the machines you can make serial ladder. Uh, it's up to you, but usually we prefer melee type. Okay, so this is one example.